A straight-A student and a talented athlete spanked at school. This happened in Springtown, northwest of Fort Worth. Now, the punishment is not against district policy, but who administered it is. And tonight, the family is questioning how much force he used. Channel H's Teresa Woodard reports. A top sophomore at Springtown High School. I think she had a 97.8 GPA all of, overall in high school for her first year. Taylor Santos says she didn't know a classmate cheated off of her, but the school sent both girls to in-school suspension. After day one, Taylor requested a spanking instead of going back for day two. The school called her mom, mom approved, and then quickly disapproved when she saw the results. And it was bright red, like bad. It looked almost as if it had been burned and blistered. It was so bad. And learned who held the paddle. I came unglued. A woman was in the room, but a man swatted Taylor. Even though district policy clearly states corporal punishment can only be administered by an employee who is the same sex as the student. I still have whelps on me today. Taylor and her mother showed me photos we cannot show on air. Her bottom was red, and there were visible welts. He used too much force. Springtown superintendent said the school might have made an error, but we've learned the superintendent is now suggesting the rules need to be changed to allow for what happened. He proposes getting rid of that same sex policy because the makeup of some campus staffs makes it too difficult to follow. I think Taylor's proof that we need to keep that policy because I don't believe a man intentionally meant to do that to her, but. It still happens because men are too big and strong to be hitting 96 pound girls. Springtown superintendent turned down our offer for an on camera interview. He did stress corporal punishment is only administered after a parent requests it and when two adults are present in the room. The school board will discuss these potential changes Monday, and Taylor's mom says she'll be there. Live in Fort Worth, Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News. You know, Texas is one of 20 states that still allow corporal punishment in schools. In North Texas, the big districts like Dallas and Fort Worth ISDs, they have policies against it, but others, including Everman, White Settlement, and Springtown, they still allow paddling.